I am back with another video. Grocery haul time. I apologize that I'm out of breath. I just carried all this in by myself because it is the first grocery trip after the kids are back in school. So I had no little helpers today, which made it tough carrying everything in. And it'll kind of stink when I have to put everything away by myself. But what doesn't stink is I stayed way, way, way under budget, which is so easy to do when you don't have little hands with you. Now my kids are 15 and 10, so they're not little anymore, but they tend to um, bulk up my grocery bill, you know, when they're putting candy and chips and drinks in the cart and they're asking for this and they want three kinds of Pop-Tarts and you guys know how it is with kids. So without them here, I stayed under budget. I got a whole week's worth of food. We'll definitely have some stuff that uh, rolls over into next week as well, which is exciting. I'll tell you guys about totals at the end. For now, I'm going to go ahead and go through everything. Left side of the table is Aldi. The back right there is Walmart. So let's get started. I bought a gallon of milk. Well, usually we go through about a gallon of milk a week. It's all I need to buy. We really only use it for cereal and the occasional recipe. So that's pretty standard. With the kids not having breakfast here at home um, as much, they would be eating breakfast most of the time in school. This may even have to go down to a half a gallon a week. We shall see. But for now, it's a gallon. Gallon of milk at my Aldi this morning was 2.09. by the way. Somebody asked in the comment section how much milk was in my area, so there's that. Uh, the skim milk was a little bit cheaper, but we like 2%. Picked up a couple of these garden salad mixes just to have as a side dish for a meal one night this week. If you guys are interested in seeing my meals for the week, I am going to be sharing that here on my channel, so stay tuned. Stick around until early next week. You guys will see all the meals that we prepared this week. Um, I got some taco seasoning mix, some sour cream, a couple of cans of cream of mushroom soup here, a couple of cans of tomato soup, picked up just one loaf of white bread, a dozen eggs, of course, um, some flour tortillas, some bananas. They did not have a great selection of bananas today. A lot, a lot of green ones, but I managed to find a few that were ripe. Um, grapes were 89 cents a pound, so of course I picked those up. Um, I got some lean ground beef, 80% lean, not the leanest, but I drained the fat anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. A couple of rising crust pizzas. We have some soccer games this week. It's going to make for some later evenings. So having this on hand will save my life, guaranteed. Um, some heat and serve sausage for me to have for breakfast this week. I did buy a box of toaster tarts. Like I said, for the most part, the kids are going to be eating breakfast at school. Austin, my youngest in particular, asked that I have a few quick and easy breakfast items on hand this week because he's in a new school this year. He's at the middle school. He wants to get the lay of the land before he immediately jumps into have to eating, having to eat breakfast every morning. So I thought that was fair toaster tarts it is. They were $1.09. A couple of boxes of stuffing mix, easy peasy um, side dishes for a meal one night this week. The Honey Nut Crispy O's. Those are Austin's favorite cereal right now, so grabbed those. Those were on sale this week as well for $1.19. I did get a one pound bag of pretzel sticks there for me to eat throughout the week with my lunches. What else here is from Aldi? I know I said the tortillas and the bananas. Did I talk about the Mexican style cheese? Not sure, but picked that up as well. Hash browns for our Sunday brunch. A couple of um, frozen vegetable options here. Some sweet corn and some mixed vegetables. And I believe that's everything from Aldi. Now we can move on to the Walmart stuff. Picked up just four ears of corn because they were on sale for 10 cents an ear. Wasn't in my meal plan, but for 10 cents an ear, I grabbed them. They looked really good. A couple of things of cheese slices. Spoiler alert for that Meals of the Week video upcoming. We're going to have some grilled cheese and tomato soup one night this week, and you got to have yellow cheese. I know this isn't real cheese, guys, but typically I buy the white American singles. I bought the yellow ones, too, because you just got to have that with grilled cheese sandwiches, right? Right. Um, some thick sliced bologna for my husband for lunch this week. Picked up a can of diced green chilies. They did not have those at my Aldi. They had the tomatoes and green chilies, but not just green chilies on their own, and I needed those. 
thought it might be fun to bake some cookies for the kids. Today's their first day of school, so thought it might be nice for them to come home to some fresh baked cookies. I wasn't really thinking straight. It's like 95 degrees outside today. Maybe I'll do those in the toaster oven so as not to heat up the house. But we're going to have some chocolate chippies tonight. Picked up this rice aroni Mexican style to go with a meal for one night this week. The coffee creamer I buy every week. Two original. That's what my husband drinks. He drinks much, much, much more coffee than I. Um, and an Italian sweet cream for me. An array of potato chip options. Some nacho cheese tortilla chips. Those are for here at the house. As are the cheese puffs. The jalapeno jack tortilla chips and the ultra thin teeny tiny pretzel sticks are for my husband for his lunches what he likes and i believe the very last thing is just this loaf of french bread here it was on the sale rack for 62 cents so i grabbed it i don't really have a plan for that but it just looked really good only other thing that i picked up was my beverage that i drank while i was in the store it's the extra sweet tea from pure leaf which is so delicious so full of sugar, but yummy. Much better than soda, I think. And that was it. So, like I said, I definitely stayed under budget. I'm going to put the totals up on the screen now for those of you that are interested in that. My budget's $100 a week, so you can see I came in well under that, which is exciting. So yeah, that's it for this grocery haul. I've been rambling for six and a half minutes now, so I'm going to wrap it up. But definitely stay tuned. For that meals of the week video coming early next week i'm excited to share my meals with you guys getting back into meal planning and the groove of things with the school year exciting thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye